can draw your pension. That's a lie. And look, Mike, yeah, we'll research it, Doug. We'll research, research it. Well, you know what? Research. We're going to research it. The Justice Department is going to research Good. all of this stuff, too, Mike. You know? Hey, Doug, Doug, bring it on. I met with the DOL. Yeah, I know you did. I met with them all. I they looked at it all. And, Doug, I, I think that there's a big investigation that's going on. Yeah. And, and I will be vindicated. <laughs> this is making history. Hey, you know what? For me, all, everything that I've suffered from him, all this bullshit, I don't care. I'd stand here and pull my pants down. I'm an open book. I'll tell you everything. All the shit they put me through, I got some thick skin. He called me. He calls me a coward. Okay. Hey, what about us? Hey, this is besides right. your first. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Absolutely. Where's the money, Mike? Hey, it's all right there. Hey, it'll all come out. It'll all come out in the wash, brother. The thing is You're right. about you two. I, I, respect I agree both, with you. I respect both of you. No, guys. I agree with you, 100%. But it's not about you guys. It's about us here. That's it. I agree. It's about our people. I agree. You're I agree. It's about my bill and my vision. Absolutely. Absolutely. Hey, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, if I can make a statement. Frank Rello, man, is a an ace carpenter, and he's one of our ace stewards. And, and Frank, you know, Supervisor Draper came into the council. He's correcting and has corrected much of the financial malpractice that's taken place over the last six years. He's reinstituted the welding program through uh, a, in our apprenticeship, which is one improvement. And as of January 1st, because of the money savings that Mike Draper has been able to allocate appropriately now that Mike McCarran is out, January 1st, we're getting our, our vision and our dental back. <laughs> That's why we demanded Mike McCarran's resignation as president of this local, and we demand that the, that you do it now, Mike. Resign, buddy. It's I over. second I that. Second I second that. Second that. Second that. Hey, you know what? That has no bearing. Who seconds it? Who fifths it? Who fourths it? Mike McCarran's not going to resign. How's that? Okay. Hey, Mike, you can finish that meeting off, Mr. Chairman. Okay. All right. Anything for the good of the order? Okay, go to your Yes, you may. Yeah, can you come up here, please? Hey, Mike, just throw me water there. Sure. retired for 11 years. I was the president of the 409 for 14 years. I've been a union carpenter for 48 years. My name came up in this. Mike hired me back. The letter said, I didn't know why. I told Draper and I told Justin Widener why. But the letter don't state that, so don't believe the letter. Another thing, on 409's meeting, I go down to the council every month, the uh, second Wednesday of every month. I'm at the council on the 10th of January, or Ju I'm sorry, July. Justin Weiner called me in his office. He shut the day, he told me to shut the door. He said, Ken, have you heard what's going on around here? I said, no, what? So first he said, did you know that Mike and Doug's mom passed away? I said, no, I don't. No, I didn't, and I'm sorry to hear that. <coughs> and he said, well, that kind of escalated other things. But he said, the International is filing a lot of charges on uh, Mike, and all of it is a bunch of shit. Now, this is not my words. This is Justin Widener's words that he told me. Look me straight in the eye, and I testified under oath to this at the hearing. Four days later, he's working for Doug. Now, you have to make up your decisions. Now, these are the facts, because it affected me. And as far as Mike hired me back, they say that I retired at 95,000. He hired me back at 115. In 11 years, you have gotten over $9 in raises. I think Mike got me back cheap. 
So you take the 95 and you've got $9 in raises over the, my 11 years, you figure it out. I think Mike got a good deal when he got me back for 115. So these are the facts, and I swore to this under oath. Kenny, can I ask you a Thank question, you. Kenny? Yes. What, what factual knowledge do you have regarding lease agreements between the Southwest Regional Council and the Apprenticeship Trust Fund? Any whatsoever? No. Wasn't that the reason for the 14D charges and trial? So you couldn't speak specifically to the charges at hand at no, the 14D no. trial? I'm just telling you what Justin told me. Okay. And I swore but but to home. the charges specific, you have no factual knowledge of those charges. Okay. Thanks. Man. I only know why he hired me back. Okay. okay. Well, Thanks. I said, I Thank you, Ken. Thank you. Thank you. A lot of the shit that's going to make us as a junior look dumb has nothing to do with the charges either. This shit that was happening right here, it's going to end up on YouTube and it's going to paint a picture on this whole union. This kind of, this kind of stuff is like ridiculous. You know I mean? If it was running right, it wouldn't be on YouTube. Yeah. It's right. running correctly. Okay, okay. Well, you took that before. It's going to be on it, unfortunately, again. This kind of, this is, okay. this is our leadership. Right? Anything else we're going to do? Yeah. Yeah. Was the trial that Doug referred to about my videotape? You know, I wasn't there, so I don't know. I, I was told by Supervisor Draper that the trial is transcribed. It's transcribed. I have all the transcript, and it'll be on the website. If, when, I, when I get it all in hard copy, every bit of it will be on there. Excellent. Is this video going to be available to hey, I'm going to request it, but they're not going to give it. It should be, but you know, well, no one will ever get it. It'll be in the minutes that I ask. Mike, you're in charge, right? Right. I'm requesting that that video be available to the membership. Upon request, a copy of that video of this meeting be mailed to our house. We're in good standing with the union. So if we want to view it again and digest all this. Hey, Andy, it's going to be on YouTube tomorrow on Saturday. Go to standwithmike.com. It'll be on the YouTube Hey, you know what? Right. Someone should yeah, make a motion to that effect. Make yeah. a motion. I'm making a motion, and I don't go on stinking YouTube. I would like a copy of the video. I'm making a motion. A second. Andy, let uh, Mr. Chairman, let me speak on the motion. I've got no idea what uh, a mailer for uh, videotapes to you know our entire membership is going to cost. And without further analysis on the just the people at present, I've got the floor, Mike. Hold it, Mike, please. So, without knowing fully the financial implications of what you're requesting, I'm recommending the membership deny okay. this motion. My motion is make it available upon. Us paying for it ourselves, mail a check to the local, they receive the check, they can mail us the video, there'll be no cost you know back what? on the union. Why don't we do this? I'm not going to accept the motion, but what we're going to do, we're going to put the executive board, we'll figure out what it's going to cost to duplicate this, do a mailer, which is expensive, and then we'll let you know if you want to kick in on it. You'll never see it. You'll never see it. I don't think anybody's... Well, do I need to make another motion? Yeah. We have available the transcript to the meeting. All I want is in writing what transpired today. Whether it's in minutes or whether it's a transcript. If you had a motion and he's not accepting your motion. Isn't that illegal? It's not against the Constitution. It's undemocratic. No, no, Mr. Uh, okay. Brother, uh, right. Right. Brother uh, President McCarran is right. There's a motion on the floor. Uh, President McCarran seconded. Mike called for the vote. Okay. All those in favor, say no by saying aye. Aye! aye. Opposed? No! Looks like the no's have it. Okay, well, it, it'll be subpoenaed. So. <laughs> Anything else? Are you a member? 2361, Joe Kirkland. Come on up, Joe. Okay, come on, Joe. Yeah, um, I just wanted to ask, um, as far as the 14D charges, is, isn't there a statute of limitation? To, you guys are going back three, four, five years in the Constitution and the bylaws. I believe there's a statute of limitation. Is, is that correct? Or we I'm not familiar with any statute of limitations. There's a criminal statute of seven years on most financial mal malpractice issues. And all, all the transcripts and all the evidence is going to be submitted to the Department of Justice, and there will be a, a, an investigation by them, and most probably a prosecution of President Michael Kerry. 
I, I just wanted to state my opinion that I think that you know this thing is kind of wordy, and um, there's some fact and some opinion, but we are spending a lot of time on it. So, uh, you know, I think we should really stick to the facts if, if we're going to investigate this. Uh, and also, uh, as far as our Constitution goes, you know, the, why he's up here and why this motion's getting shut down and the legitimacy of it, we all need to read our Constitution, know our bylaws, and uh, you'll know what's going on in this meeting, why we're sitting over here, why things are being stopped and started, and, and what's legitimate and what's not. What happened at the last meeting? Was that legitimate? I don't think so. But uh, it happened. And if we all read our Constitution and our bylaws, you guys will understand more of uh, what's right, what's wrong. So I encourage you. Yeah. One more thing, uh, Robert's Rules of Order. That, that's what our bylaws are based on. It's what Congress does. It's, it's what everybody does around the world. Robert's Rules of parla Parliamentary Order. Get it. It's five bucks. Amazon. Are you a member? I'm not a member. Okay, just, uh, let members speak. You, no, UBC <laughs> members only. UBC oh, members. Sorry. Her name was brought up. Her name was brought like, up. Okay. Just like well, me. I didn't do anything yes, to you. Yes, you did, John. But You're I'm, the only one who knew my personal problems. No, your your personal problems are in a court decision what, that spells what it out. What does he have to do? Because how you... Come, how come, you want me to answer or not? Point of order. Point of order. Point of order. Ago, uh, you want me to answer or not? Yes. Uh, you went into Randy Sal's office with Mike when Mike intimidated and threatened he, Randy. He did not intimidate him. Okay, that's what you say. That's not what Randy so testified to under oath. Mike had the opportunity to testify. He was asked point, twice. Point. He did not. Okay, we have a point, point of order. Point of order. order. Point point order. This is going on. Wait a second. Hi, guys. Yeah. Okay, all in favor? Signify the You should be a shame. Opposed? I just have it. And you call I yourself a Catholic. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shame yourself. You, Absolutely. Okay. Okay, second. Okay. All right. All in favor, say good morning. Oh, oh, well, let, let me speak real quickly on the adjournment issue. You know, last week we didn't, or last month, excuse me, we didn't have our raffle. This month, if we adjourn early, we're not going to have the raffle. So I make a motion that we adjourn the business of discussing these, you know, really sad issues. But after an adjournment, we, we have our raffle as usual. Okay. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So I'd like to amend uh, the motion to adjourn that so it states that we adjourn the meeting for the, the, the order of business before the local, but we continue to have, conduct our, our raffle after adjournment. Does that make sense, Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Does that make, is that okay with a second? I hear you. Okay. All right. So you heard the motion. All those in favor, say no by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? I just have it. So we're adjourned.